We want to take you out to a, a tragic story from a couple years ago out of Florida as we are now having new evidence, new video evidence presented in court. We're going to be joined on the ground there in Florida by Stephanie uh, Bufamonte. Thank you so much for joining us here on Live Now from Fox. Give us a detail of what we learned today in this case. So prosecutors say that a woman, Sarah Boone, had put her boyfriend at the time inside this suitcase. And tonight we are seeing that video for the first time that shows his final moments as he was pleading to get out of this suitcase while she was filming. And a warning to everyone watching, the video is extremely disturbing. It's my name. Don't wear it up. Prosecutors say George Torres is zipped shut inside the suitcase and that Sarah Boone was the one recording as he was desperately pleading for her to let him out. Boone taunts her then boyfriend, even laughs as she records him. You can see the bag moving. Sarah, <laughs> you. Sarah, <laughs> stupid. Boone told investigators she put Torres in the suitcase during a game of hide and seek. This happened back in February 2020. She's now charged with second degree murder. According to investigators, she claimed she was drinking wine and went upstairs to sleep during the game while Torres was still in the suitcase. Sarah, I you. Please, Sarah. Yeah. You should probably shut the Sarah. up. According to court documents, she recorded the video after 11 at night. Boone called police at 1 in the afternoon the next day. She told deputies she found him dead after she woke up. He thought it would be funny to be put in the suitcase, so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to joke with you, and I'll zip you up and make him, you know, squirm a little bit, whatever it is. But then I fell asleep, so I came downstairs, hey, honey, and I was like, oh, f he's in the suitcase still. Susan Constantine, a body language expert who has worked on high profile cases, says this part of the video stuck out to her. They're going to think I killed him. First of all, no one asked her that question. She's being interviewed, she's kind of frantic, and then she just blurts it out. <laughs> it's just, it's interesting subconsciously what is on her mind. Now, her case will go to trial next month. We'll send it back to you for now. Thank you so much. And it's very interesting. Obviously, this was two years ago, and we're just learning more from it right now. Uh, what else did the body language expert tell you about maybe Sarah Boone during that video or even beyond during an interrogation? She talked a lot about what uh, they're going to look for in the courtroom, kind of what she's going to sit like how she'll react when they mention some of the things as part of this case um, while she's sitting in that courtroom. And like I said, that it's going to trial next month. Um, but yeah, she talked a lot about how she was bringing up information that they didn't ask her. She had talked about how his family didn't like her and things like that that she really just pointed out. All right, Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us here on Live Now from Fox. Certainly a very dark story, but we appreciate your time and your reporting as thank always. You.